Hey, it's Kimity Gadget Goddess. I'm hoping these have some kind of juice on them so that I can at least pair them and see how well they work before they die and then I can fully charge them. Time's a wasting, it's hot out here and I don't want my camera to overheat. So let's get into this package. Now I briefly looked at the Bose version of these smart sunglasses. I read some of the reviews and I was like, hey, I'm gonna roll with my company. Sorry about all the noise, I'm just banging this knife. I'm gonna roll with Huawei because Huawei has failed to disappoint when it comes to accessories. Shout out to the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro. If you have not watched my video on that, you might wanna check it out. This is the second version of these sunglasses. These are the Smart Lang ones. These are the Huawei X Gentle Monster Eyewear 2. Now Gentle Monster is a name brand when it comes to sunglasses and Huawei just came. I'm sure they cut the check. Oh, isn't that a pretty presentation? And said, hey, will y'all make us some smart sunglasses? So in the box I have the case. It charges in the case with a USB type C. This is gonna be my books and my charging cord. See, I'm right. And there's a warranty card in there. Don't know how well that works for me here in the States, but you know. I have not had any issues with any of my Huawei stuff that I have bought. Knock on wood, I have no wood nearby. Let's get into these boogers. I am going to pair them to my Huawei phone. And as you can see, they're just very regular looking sunglasses. I am going to pair them with the Huawei Mate X2. If you have not checked my unboxing and review of that device, I will leave a card here for you. I say this is the second gen because the first gen came out with very thick arms. You see they're, they're thicker than usual here. The first gen was even thicker than that. That was a lot of the concern with people who got the Bose sunglasses. They're uncomfortable after a while because, hey, they sit behind your ear. There's no specific way these have to be placed in here to charge. Just put them in there. Well, there is a specific way, I'm sure, but what I'm saying is it's not that I have to plug them into anything. And when I just pulled them out just now, literally they were just laying in here. Charge with front side up. Okay. Exactly how I got them out of the box. So they're standing up. You don't want to put them face down. I love the padding in here. This is really nice. They gave us a nice little wipe. Nice little wipe with gentle monster branding here. So I'll set that over there because we can keep that in the case. This is a quick start guide. Okay, okay. I did see some English. Yay. I'll let you know they don't want you getting these things wet or anything. They don't want you trying to repair these things yourself. But they have a QR code for us to scan to get the app. So let's start off with that. I'm gonna put that right there. Let you see me scanning it if it works out correctly. So it's loading. We're gonna install this app out of the app store. Oh, you can download it via browser if you don't have the app store. Common misconception is if you have Huawei accessories, you have to have the Huawei App Store, which is not always true. No risk detected. We're gonna go ahead and hit the install button and let it start installing the AI Life. And this is the one that came off Chrome and not the App Store. So it's probably gonna apply to most people who don't have a Huawei device. We're just getting everything set up. Allow while in use, smart device management. This phone does have Harmony OS installed. It can download third-party apps to smart devices if they have Harmony OS installed as well. Don't know how that's gonna work for these sunglasses, but we'll see. We got a get started button. We're gonna hit that. Plus. If I'm gonna factory reset these, there is a button, oh, buttons back here. When you plug in your USB Type-C, that's how you're gonna factory reset it. So I'm enabling my Bluetooth. Connect the charging cable and hold the function button for eight seconds until both indicators flash red. The glasses will restart automatically. So that's probably what you're watching me do now. 
because hey, there was nothing for you to see outside while I was saying I was gonna do all this. So hopefully I didn't struggle too badly with this and we can get this show on the road. We saw that it was 1% left on the sunglasses. So we're gonna let those charge and we're gonna come back to this. I have some things to do this evening. So we might not be able to finish up with these glasses until tomorrow, unfortunately. Bright and early the next day. Not too early, it's like nine o'clock. App is downloaded. It's AI Life right there. It already has the sunglasses here. So we did get them paired even though they were at 1% and they're disconnected currently. I still have the plastic on these bad boys. These are really smart wearables. They have smart detection and know when they're on your face. I just need to put them on. We are connected to the phone now. See, 100%, the glasses are 100%. I'm gonna put these on now. Hmm. So far, just sunglasses, right? Decent pair of sunglasses, they look nice on me. I just heard a noise, I think. But she's speaking Chinese. <laughs> this is my screen it says we're connected it's asking for shortcuts which I have created none I've not made any phone calls and I don't have a smart greeting I'm paired where perception okay that's so it picks up on the fact that I have them on and know that I have them on smart greeting it says English here I don't know Dramatic call volume automatically reduces call volume based on ambient noise. Okay, that's kind of neat. HD recording. Are you saying glasses record? What are we talking about? Find your glasses. I guess if you lay them somewhere, misplace them. And uh, let's check and see if we have any updates. Okay, our glasses are up to date. I'm in the settings app. If I double tap the left arm, I can either play, pause, wake the AI voice or nothing. I have no reason to wake the AI voice. So I'm gonna use double tapping the left arm to play and pause. And same for the right. Slippery, that's when you slide from front to back. On the left arm, it's volume control. And on the right arm, you can have it go next to last. So when I was on the phone, I was playing with the left arm. I was correct in adjusting the volume. Pinch. So you can actually pinch these glasses. And there's a face-to-face -face translate. You can make a voice memo. That's what I'll do. I don't know about the face-to-face -face translate. That's our features for shortcuts. We have those set. We don't want to call them eyewear too. Leave down in the comments what you think I should name these glasses? Cause I name all my phones. Why wouldn't I name my glasses? I was gonna go into music, but I'm gonna go into YouTube because I just don't wanna deal with copyright stuff. Oh wow, I thought that was coming out of the phone. I do want y'all to get a feel for how this sounds because I really feel like I'm listening to the phone even though I'm not. Like I'd like to use these at my desk at work. Because this has autoplay, I don't know if it's gonna shut off when I take them off. I want to put the speaker of my camera next to where the sound is coming out of here, if that makes any sense. I can't wear them all. These weren't really expensive. I'm going to have to go look and see how much I paid for these. So I'm not going to quote a price and be wrong. The blue is nice. This pink is, can we say peach? Peach. That was pretty neat to experience. I don't know exactly where the microphone is on this camera, but the fact that it picked up on the sound really really good like as good as I was hearing it I really think it does a remarkable job what I want to do now is I want to call somebody with them not knowing I'm on a set of sunglasses to see how it sounds shoot a text message over to my homeboy Barry Johnson so if you have not checked out Barry Johnson's channel he's more of an engineer and with his engineering background he hangs out with all of us phone techies and he's starting to give reviews from an engineer's point of view. Let's see if Barry's available for a phone call. So I just shot him a message. Barry doesn't know we're calling him from a set of glasses. Yeah. 
both seemed aggressive to me. Like, have you been in a live stream with that keyboard? I'm going to test something out real quick because you said they sound great, but they have this smart detection so they know they're on my face. So being we're on the phone, I'm going to take them off of my face and see what happens. Like, is it going to put on speakerphone or what? So it doesn't say anything. Wait a minute. You might be on speaker. I don't know. Oh, you're back on the phone. It took you back to the phone. Is there a huge difference between the phone and the and the glasses? No, no. Okay. That's pretty neat. I'll put the glasses back on. Oh wow, okay. So it gave me a sound to let me know I was connected again and <laughs> I'd like to use these at work. You know they actually make clear lenses so they wouldn't be just sunglasses. Well, I appreciate it. So that was a nice call with my boy Barry. I did miss recording part of it that I thought I was recording when I wasn't. But he, I don't know. I said He said I sounded really good. He could not tell I was on a set of glasses. He says I sound like I do any other time. I feel like I don't even have a pair of glasses on. I'm gonna text myself. Cause one of the questions that crossed my mind was like, am I gonna get alerts for text messages? Okay, I am getting alerts in my ear, so I got an alert for a text message. This is nice, I'm very excited. One of the things I noticed when I had these on, it's a mirror kind of finish, and you can kind of see behind you a little bit when you have these on. I don't know if it's any more so than having a regular pair of glasses on, but it's kind of neat. I really thought about when I was buying these was the fact that they sold clear lenses. <laughs> I was like, why are they selling clear lenses? These are sunglasses, this is what we should have if we're doing the the smart glasses thing i know now it did not even feel like i had a pair of glasses on these were just great they're comfortable if they're that comfortable and i forgot i was even on the phone with these glasses on i can't wear these glasses and go into a dark environment i don't want to be wearing these in like looking ridiculous that's when your clear lenses would come into play right they come in different styles. They're nice to look at. I'm unsure of where the sensors are in here. I really like these. How many times can I say that? Now I'm going to tell you these glasses, like if you bought them direct from Huawei, I think they're 300 plus. I paid under that. I bought them from AliExpress, which, you know, you go out on a limb when you go over there and you wait an extra couple weeks or whatnot on eBay right now, still coming from China. They're selling between $299 and $319, or you can pay the super abundant price of $443. This is the second gen. They had a first gen. The arms were a bit bigger and more uncomfortable, and I don't know what the battery life on these is gonna be like. Let's see what our battery life is like now, because the conversation with Barry was a bit longer. Well, me and Barry can be long-winded, but it was longer than expected. So I'm at 81% after an hour long phone call. I've played with the volume up and down. I played some YouTube for you. I do love these glasses though. Let's just say these glasses were meant for me. They got double G's on here. Why, who else are they meant for? These are GG's glasses. I'm Kimmy, you guys you got us? I'd like to thank everybody for uh, coming by and <laughs> watching this review. The second generation Huawei sunglasses. I never had the first, but these are awesome. Usually when you deal with second generation devices, they're better than the first. If you enjoyed the content, I hope you consider dropping me a like. If you are enjoying content on this channel, multiple videos, you might want to consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free. Memberships cost and memberships have privileges. I appreciate all the members that come out to this channel and support this channel. If you'd like to know about perks of memberships on this channel, click on join or you click the link in the description if you are an Apple iOS user. I'll catch y'all on the next video.